Let's start by taking off the wheel. Four 19 millimeter lug nuts. Right here you can see the tie rods. We have to loosen up this jam nut here. That's gonna unlock the outer from the inner tie rod. So put a 19 millimeter wrench on there and you can use a hammer to tap it. A lot of times they're gonna be stuck because of rust. There we go. That broke free. That's all we need is for it to break free. If it spins more than that, even better. We'll leave it like that for now. Then I wanna to move to the outer tie rod right here where there's a nut that connects it to the knuckle. 17 millimeter socket. Go ahead and take out that nut. Then with a hammer, hammer on the knuckle right here, that should break the tie rod free from the knuckle. There we go. Now grab your outer tie rod and as you unthread it, you wanna make sure that you count the turns that it takes to take it off. That's how you know how far to put it back and you'll get close to a decent alignment so that you can drive down to your local alignment shop and have it professionally aligned after you're done with the job. So anyway, count the threads. It's not always gonna be the same for everyone, so whatever I have is not gonna be the same for you. I had 12 and a half. Again, whatever your number is, memorize it, write it down, but make sure you put the tie rod back the same amount of turns. Next with a 19 millimeter socket and my impact gun, I'm gonna take this nut all the way off. If you don't have an impact gun, just go ahead and hold this with some locking pliers or a wrench. Now right here, you'll see this clamp. This has to come off of the bellows boot, so take that away. And then if you follow the boot in, you'll see that clamp right there which we'll have to punch out with a pry bar and a hammer. So pull your pry bar right up against the clamp and then just whack it with your hammer. That should pop it off of there. This is a single time use clamp. There it goes. Now you can pull the boot off of the steering rack and off of the tie rod. I'm gonna try and get a pick in here so I can break the boot free from the inner tie rod. Sometimes these get rusted in here. The rust kind of adheres to the rubber. Spray some rust penetrant. There we go. That broke free now. So just go ahead and pull this away. There's the boot. Take the boot, slide it on. Make sure it goes all the way in. Right here, it's sitting on the ridge perfectly. And then in here, it'll have to slip over the power steering rack, which it just did. It fell into place, which is perfect. And if you don't have one of those special metal clamps, you can just use a wire tie. I'm gonna start it out here. That way it's easier to hook on. Make sure you position it right on that last groove where it attaches. And then go ahead and tighten it up. In order to better tighten it, I'm gonna grab needle nose pliers and twist it just like this. That's gonna pull it through a little bit more. Give it that extra tightness. And of course, let's cut off the excess. Next comes this outer clamp. You can reuse the old one if yours is still tight and it has enough spring tension to it. Sometimes they get too rusted and they won't work. And in that case, you can just use a wire tie like we did for the inner clamp. There we go. Make sure it's positioned where it needs to be, just like that. Next, I'm gonna apply anti-seize to the threads of the inner tie rod. This is going to help the tie rod not rust on the threads for future alignment adjustments. It's also gonna prevent the jam nut from sticking as well as the outer tie rod. So coat them in a thin layer of anti-seize. Go ahead and slide on your jam nut. Drive this in all the way. Next, take your outer tie rod and thread it on the same amount of turns that it took to thread it off. Okay, right about there is where I had it before. So now go ahead and connect it to the knuckle. Push it all the way through and put your castle nut on. Snug it up and then torque it to 32 foot-pounds. Okay, 
All right, now we have to make sure that the cotter pin hole lines up with the slot on the castle nut, which for me, it actually does. If not, you always wanna keep tightening, not loosening to line those up. So now grab your cotter pin, slide it through, and then don't forget to pin it over to actually lock it in. One last thing we have to do is to lock this jam nut from the inner tie rod up against the outer tie rod. So grab your wrench and go ahead and tighten this up. Nice and snug, and then bring it back so the tie rod end is sitting parallel with the knuckle, not at an angle. All right, let's put the wheel on. Go ahead and put on the wheel. Start on all four of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and torque them to 80 foot-pounds.